Everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Alexander Paris Show Live. This is our live show once a month here from the lovely PCM TV studios. Uh, this month I am here in Studio B, and this time I have a couple of special guests. One of my special guests is Michael A. Romero, who is the director of the new film Savage Land, and he'll be telling us a little bit about that. Um, now, as for some of you who are big fans of Rape of the Genetic Opera out there, um, as some of you know, I am a member of the Oregon Donor Shadowcast, and uh, the show is going to be streaming to YouTube, so I want to show some love to the other Rape of Shadowcast who might be watching my show on YouTube. Uh, so this is a part of the show where I like to share with you the uh, other Shadowcasts that might be playing near you uh, for the week of July 23rd. This month, this week, it will be my shadow cast, The Oregon Donors, at the Clinton Street Theater in Portland, Oregon. Doors at 11.15, pre-show at 11.30. Repo would shadow cast at midnight that same evening. If you are in Dallas, Texas, go and catch Amber Does Dallas at the Lakewood Theater. Doors will be at 11 with Repo would shadow cast at midnight. And there is a bar for those over 21 if you're heading over to Dallas, Texas. Now, on Saturday night, which is July 24th, 2010, Elective Surgery and Addicted to the Knife will be performing at the Gas Lamp Theater in San Diego, California during Comic Con. Doors will be at 11 p.m. and Repo with both shadow casts will be at midnight. You do not need Comic Con tickets to attend. All you need is a movie ticket. And on July 30th, the Oregon Donors will be performing once again at the Clinton Street Theater in Portland, Oregon. Doors at 11.15, uh, pre-show at 11.30 p.m., Repo with the Oregon Donors shadow cast at midnight. Also that night, Addicted to the Knife will be performing at the Vista Theater in Los Angeles, California. Doors at 11 p.m., Repo with shadow cast at midnight. Also that same night in Foxborough, Massachusetts, the RKO Army will also be playing at the Orpheum Theater but their shadow cast will be starting at 11 o'clock. Also, that same night, if you're in Hadley, Massachusetts, Genetic Imperfection will be performing at South Hadley's Tower Theaters in Hadley, Massachusetts at 11 p.m. Now, if you want more information on a repo shadow cast, you, you, could, you can go to www.repoopera.com. And um, I'm pretty much everywhere these days. Um, as a matter of fact, um, you can catch me on MySpace at www.myspace.com backslash galactic underscore groove. Or you can email me at alexanderparistvshow at gmail.com. And then I am also on Blog TV once a month. And that is uh, blogtv.com backslash people backslash Alexander Parish Show. 
You can also catch my YouTube channel because I'm going to be streaming all my shows on YouTube. Uh, it's youtube.com backslash Alexandra Paris Show. Uh, you can also catch me on Twitter, twitter.com backslash Alex Paris TV Show. And uh, I'm also going to be launching a new venture into internet uh, radio talk, which will be like the last Wednesday of this month. And uh, be sure to catch that at blogtalkradio.com backslash Alexandra hyphen Paris. Um, there's also a lot of things going on uh, around town this, this week. On July 21st, actually that is tonight, it's uh, charged from 7 to 9 p.m. It's going to be a fabulous club night for HIV positive men and friends hosted by the fabulous Dora Phoenix at CC Slaughters. On the July 22nd, the 23rd Annual Oregon Brewers Festival will be from noon until 9. That will be going on all weekend. Uh, one of the nation's longest-running and best-loved craft beer festivals at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. That will be going on all weekend long. Uh, July 23rd, the Rise of Beach Party Special Oregon Bears Double X Dance will be at 9 p.m. Uh, so uh, the required dress is swimsuits and undies in paradise at CC Slaughters. On July 24th, the 18th Annual Division Clinton Street Fair will be run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be a parade, a Lego exhibit, street dance, and more. Uh, this will be in between Southeast 50th and Division and Southeast 28th and Clinton. On July 25th, Sunday Rehab with the Chicken Lady will be going on at Silverado. So Sunday is going to have like a whole bunch of things jam-packed. Uh, then after that, if you want to get your trek on, there's Star Trek in the Park all this month at uh, 5 p.m. on the corner of Northeast 13th and Deacon. This year's, uh, this year's uh, Star Trek cast is performing the original series episode Space Seed, so I suggest you go see it. Um, and then at 8 p.m., once you're done getting your trek on, you could go check out the Superstar Divas at CC Slaughters. But if you want to unleash your inner rock star, go and check out karaoke, ch yeah, karaoke with Rocky and Suzanne at the Embers Avenue at 9. Now, <clears throat> I have the pleasure of uh, interviewing uh, one of the actors from Savage Land, Mr. Casey Stratton. And uh, as, as a matter of fact, I went to uh, Beaverton yesterday to interview him. And he is like one of the nicest people. Can you tell me what it was like working with Casey? Um, he was just very professional. He was very nice and he was very pleasant and he did took direction well so he's right. very it was kind of an honor he when we were filming him he did an intimate live set for the audience that's kind of a thank you for showing up for the extras so it was really cool that is really cool that mm -hmm. is really awesome I unfortunately I missed it I wanted to go and see it but I was so busy this weekend but I did get a chance to interview Casey as a matter of fact, we are going to roll that clip with my interview with Mr. Casey Stratton, and we will be right back right after this. Uh, recording artist Casey Stratton, a special guest here on the Alexander Prayer Show. How are you doing today, Casey? Good, how are you? I am great. Welcome to the City of Roses. So how often do you come here? Well, I haven't been in four years. So really? So this is nice like... to be back. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you like the city? I love it. It's beautiful. It's green in both senses of the word. Which I like quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I just I think it's really an interesting, an interesting place with great energy. The people are really amazing. I think. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, so where are you originally from? I'm from Michigan originally, born and raised, and then I lived in Los Angeles and Chicago and New York, and now I'm back in Michigan again. So. Very very cool. So um, on this uh, recent visit to Portland, what brings you here? Well, I was here to work on the film Savage Land. Oh, great. Yes. Now, that is the sequel to Empty the Land. Yes, I believe that is true. Great. So what was your uh, what was your part in this film? I am playing the new lead singer of the band, um, oh. which is now called Savage Land. I, I guess the band used to be called Empty Land. Uh-huh. it's called Savage Land. So I'm their new lead singer which they bring in to try to entice the major labels 
Right, right. So um, in real life, 